Good morning guys, we are at the Old Pajetta Conservancy, which is a pretty special place. We didn't have it on our list to come, but um, we recommended it. Just check out this. This is the home of the last two northern white, white rhino rhinos. females. And the largest population of black rhino in East Africa. It's Chloe's birthday as well, so we've decided to splash out a little bit and yeah. stay in the park amongst the animals. We've heard some amazing things about it, some amazing visitors in camp, so hopefully we'll have the same experience ourselves. The guys have got the engines on and they're raring to go, so Yeah, they're desperate to get out there. <laughs> Cheers. Let's just pause for a second and give you guys a quick recap of our last couple of days. A good morning with a slightly fuzzy head this morning. We uh, bought quite a few Tuskers last night thinking that they would last us through uh, the Serengeti and the Masai Mara because we weren't going to see another shot. But uh, actually we ended up drinking them pretty much all last night which was good fun. But anyway, this morning or this afternoon, it's past midday now, isn't it? We have driven to the Hell's Gate National Park, which is where Pride Rock is from Lion King. Uh, it's where they got a lot of inspiration for the film. So we're driving around Hell's Gate looking for Pride Rock, which is really cool. It's a stunning park as well. And you can, you can walk and cycle through here and everything. It's fantastic. We just got back from a really, really nice hike. We actually walked through the gorge and it was just amazing. The rock that was so hot from the magma, our guide said, and the water that was coming off of it was boiling hot, scalding when you touched it. And then we made our way to Pride Rock, which I'm sure a lot of you will know is the big rock in the Lion King movie. So that was really cool. And it was just nice to be active and spend some time outside and kind of outside of the vehicle as well and then to do it with everybody was really fun. So we're now gonna take a bit more of a scenic drive through the park before exiting and then heading to camp. And I think we're gonna camp on the lake again tonight with everybody, so that'll be fun. Once we had arrived at camp, the guys got a fire going, got the dinner cooking, we played some Monopoly deal and then enjoyed some drinks around the campfire. And also, um... Okay, let's get back to the video. Just after we entered the park, we made it to the equator mark. How cool! This is the first time in nearly a year that our landy has been north of the equator. So the nice thing about a conservancy is it's fenced and whether you agree with that or not with wild animals, it's, uh, it's a private conservancy so they do a lot of conservation work for these animals. Anyway, the one of the pros in the fenced area is that generally the management have a rough idea of where things are on a day-to-day -day basis and he did mention that there was a lion kill at 5pm last night at, in a certain area so we're heading for that area to see if we could spot the lions around their kill.
We have not been in this park long and we have already seen three rhino. I think all of them were white rhino and that one that we just saw was so close to us. We've seen African buffalo, eland, huge eland. I think the biggest eland we've ever seen. So cool. And now we're going to head into the rhino memorial. See his horns that he's a really really big boy. It's a lot of buffalo in this park isn't it? So guys, we are here to see Baraka. Baraka means blessing, as our guide has just told us. He is the rhino here that um, unfortunately is blind. And so you can go and see him in very, very close. So that's what we're gonna go and do. So yeah, it's really interesting. Very, very cool. Before visiting Baraka, we had a tour of the information center. We learned a lot about the conservation work that old Pajetta do. And also it was incredible to see how the rhino population is starting to increase again. You don't you don't go inside. No. Call it. Don't do it. Yeah. No no no. <laughs> so we can we can be able to differentiate. <laughs> yeah, he knows his name. So we're here and we're just looking at the last two remaining northern white rhino. Two females, you can't see them right now because they seem quite shy, so they've gone behind the bush. I'm trying to get some pictures because Harry wants to kind of compare them to the white rhino and the black rhino and kind of see what they're like. I think it's quite crazy to be here and be seeing the last two remaining animals in a species that could go extinct in, you know, by the next generation. These are the last two animals within a species, two females. There are projects taking place to try and repopulate the northern white rhino species, but really the damage has already been done. Humankind has caused this species to inevitably become extinct. Poaching is something Harry and I have witnessed for ourselves and have heard about from others across Africa, and it is absolutely devastating. Humans are destroying wildlife and nature, if poaching continues, there will be no more rhino left in this world. But through education, awareness and conservation efforts, poaching can be stopped. We feel it's important to share this information with you guys so that more awareness can be created around this subject. Finally found some lions. We've worked hard today to find these. And what is there, six or seven? Yeah, all female. All female. And this pride in this side of the park is 12 or 14, so I don't know where all the males are. So funny how they're just laying on the top of the bank here though. Yeah.
And just when we thought this moment couldn't get any better, there were another three visitors at the dam. Three beautiful elephants passing by these six female lions. Two of the big five in one go. How incredible is that? So we've made it to camp and we've had amazing sightings today. I actually can't believe how much we've seen in one day. We've seen four of the big five in a day, which is just crazy. We've never had that before. The guys have got a fire going. And just over here, a big herd of elephants. Oh, and we're camping in a park. Unless we hadn't told you that. Let me show you the alleys. Harry made my favourite dinner for my birthday, beef tacos, which we all enjoyed around the campfire. Harry's brother Charlie captured these amazing hippo shots quite late into the evening. He'd brought some night vision binoculars with him and it was amazing to see the life around us in the night. Good morning guys, we're on the move again today. We had a very peaceful, relaxed evening. We had a few visitors at camp, some hippos, some elephant, buffalo, which was really, really cool. Very, very wild camping experience, which did remind us a bit of Madumi when we did that in Namibia, along the Caprivi. So this morning we have seen more rhinos, some incredible sightings. It will just never get old seeing them. And now we've just seen one of the rangers who's told us where the lions are. The same pride that we saw last night, he said they had a kill this morning. So hopefully we should be able to find them, see them before we head out of the park today. What a way to end our visit here at Old Pajetta, seeing this group of lion. It was unfortunately time for us to hit the road and head out of this amazing park, 
but we have a lot more to share with you in our next few videos so stay tuned guys thank you so much for watching leave us a comment and give this video a like make sure you subscribe and we will see you in the next one